Hello everybody, my name's Seth, and today we're going to be checking out the Music Man Steve Morse Y2D. And we're back! Hope you guys enjoyed the little demo tune that I wrote. In the description box down below, you will find links to a written version of this review, if that's more your speed, time codes to help you jump around more easily in this video, as well as links to my social media accounts and other ways that you can help support this channel. And with all that out of the way, let's talk about this guitar. So Woodwise, we have a bird's eye maple neck with a rosewood fingerboard. The guitar also has a poplar body and a quilted maple top, as you can see. Hardware-wise, this guitar is equipped with Schaller locking tuners, an Ernie Ball compensated nut, nickel fret wire, Ernie Ball's spoke wheel truss rod adjustment, Steve Morse pickups in a HSH configuration, and 250K potentiometers. The guitar also features a five-way switch, but this switch operates differently than what you might expect given the HSH configuration. As far as bridge hardware goes, this guitar is equipped with an Ernie Ball Music Man tunematic style bridge, and this one has been recessed ever so slightly into the body. In terms of the guitar's playability, it's pretty much everything you would expect from a Music Man guitar or a guitar in this price range. If I had to compare the feel of the neck to anything, I'd say it's most similar to like a 60s style Strat, but with a much flatter fingerboard radius. Interestingly, as you might have noticed from the B-roll, Ernie Ball and Steve Morris have elected to give this guitar no comfort cuts or cutaways at all, for that matter. The body is very similar to what you would see on like a vintage style Telecaster with the slab style bodies. The difference is, is these edges have been rounded off considerably, so it's not a perfect square like a traditional slab style Telecaster would be. As a result of the lack of cutaways, my one gripe with the overall feel of this guitar would be that it can have a tendency to dig into your ribs a little bit after playing for a long time, but outside of that, the playing feel is so outstanding that I'm willing to overlook that small gripe. So despite the lack of comfort cuts, this guitar is still absolutely amazing to play. In my honest opinion, Music Man has some of the best, if not the best, necks in the industry as far as production guitars go and this guitar is no exception on that front. The Gunstock Oil and Wax Blend that Music Man uses is probably my favorite neck finish in the industry, and it makes their guitars impossible to put down even after hours and hours and hours of playing. 
Sound wise, this thing is an absolute rock machine, whether you lean more towards the classic side or the more modern side. The Bridge Humbucker is a very harmonically rich pickup with a boatload of mid-range and it cuts through the mix excellently. Tonally speaking, the neck pickup is actually the opposite of the bridge pickup. This is a significantly rounder and smoother pickup. By winding the neck pickup this way, it helps make it so those notes above the 12th fret never sound shrill or ice picky and it helps keep everything super fluid and smooth when you're doing fast runs. The only pickup positions I'm personally not too big on are those involving the middle pickup. This is just personal preference, but I've never been a fan of middle pickups in general, and this guitar is no exception. Now the intended use case for the middle pickup in this guitar is actually different than what you would expect from a Strat or other similar type of guitar. Steve Morse prefers to use his middle pickup as a way of taking down the gain during sections of the song without actually changing channels on his amp. While I can appreciate that, it's not necessarily a feature that I personally have any use for, because I've always been someone who's either used multi-channel amps or modelers to get all my tones. That's enough talk about how this guitar sounds, let's actually listen to how it sounds with a few examples that I've recorded. Final thoughts on the Music Man Steve Morse Y2D. Honestly, 
even with the lack of cutaways and the middle pickup not necessarily being my personal thing, this guitar is still awesome to me and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Unfortunately, if you're looking to get a Y2D in this color or configuration, you're gonna have to try to track one down on the used market as Music Man has discontinued this finish. Music Man has recently released a new version of the Y2D in Blue Burst Flame, but that version is significantly more expensive than this one as it's part of Music Man's vault line. Aside from the fact that the new version has stainless steel frets, the spec from what I'm seeing on their website looks absolutely identical to this one. So if you want to save some money and still get that Y2D thing, try to track one down on the used market. No matter what version you go with, if any, you're going to get a rock solid and super stable guitar. Fun fact that I forgot to mention earlier in this review, I've actually had this guitar since 2014 and I've never had to do any sort of neck adjustment on it whatsoever. The neck has been just that stable, so that's pretty incredible. All my other guitars, Music Man included, have needed neck adjustments, not this one. Thank you so much for watching my video, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, maybe give the video a like and subscribe to the channel, it really helps. If you're interested in the Steve Morse guitars or you own one yourself, leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about them. As I mentioned earlier, I've got a bunch of links to stuff down in the description box below. Check those out if you want to. Again, thank you so much for watching, hope to catch you guys again in the next one.